so last tuesday we worked on the confidence interval right everybody clear so what we did was this that we looked at all these poles okay jesse am i clear we looked at all these poles uh, actually we went up to this you know abc news washington post one all right and uh, then we were creating these intervals along these lines right everybody fine on this okay samira make sense so like according to the george washington university polls uh here their estimate for the president was 47 percent with the margin of error of 3.1 percent right okay nancy makes sense right so what happens now is that i did this that 47 minus what is that uh 47 minus 3.1 is uh 43.9 right so here the lower limit is 3.9 and the upper one is uh, lower limit is 43.9 and the upper one is uh, 50.1 right okay Alan makes sense okay good and like we the same way like Rasmussen is this and uh, you know IBD is this CNN is this Gallup was narrower they had bigger sample okay and then as of few minutes ago if you look at the results the president got you know approximately what percentage of votes you read it for me about 50 percent right everybody fine so this gives us an idea of like how these intervals behave okay so here it is so this is what actually happened right everybody fine okay so so the way these intervals behave is this that if you go ahead and make a line here do you think abc do you think abc captured what president is going to get yes or no quickly yes it did right did gallup capture it yeah well, why not it's right here okay it's right here right okay yusuf did cnn capture it yes it's, it's going right here right everybody clear okay and Rasmussen, they captured it as well. Well, GWU kind of captured it, but it's captured it, right? Because it doesn't say whether it's more likely this way or that way. So everybody captured it, right? I mean, this barely captured it, but it did, right? Everybody fine so far? Okay, good. So this is the idea of confidence interval that we are constructing, right? that when we construct confidence interval for a population parameter okay we say with a level of confidence that the interval has captured the parameter of interest what is the parameter in this case the parameter was the percentage of votes that the president is going to get right Samira am I making sense right and these intervals are all the predictions this interval has it or this interval doesn't have it so we're just looking at it mathematically Kelvin making sense here okay mathematically that is that is what that we have an interval we just wanted to verify whether it captured the real value or it did not and we saw that all these guys they captured it right okay good so 